Today I'm going to correct a C1 advanced essay. But there is one big problem. This essay is actually already the perfect C1 essay. What can I change? So this is the assignment. Let's check the assignment quickly. Um, we have one hour and 30 minutes for the entire writing part, and this is writing part one. You must answer this question. Write your answer in 220 to 260 words in an appropriate style. So that means that we need to decide whether it's formal or informal. Your class has watched a television program on the reasons why many young people choose to live in cities. You've made the notes below. Factors which influence why many young people prefer to live in cities. There are some discussion, opinions that are expressed in the discussion. And then we need to say, we, what we need to do is write an essay discussing two of the factors in your notes which influence why many young people choose to live in cities. You should identify which factor you think is more significant, providing reasons for, to support your opinion. You may, if you wish, make use of the opinions expressed in the discussion, but you should use your own words as far as possible. So this is our essay, and as I said, it already looks quite interesting. Um, there are paragraphs, even the word doesn't indicate many issues. There are some, some wording issues, parts of that are a bit wordy, but otherwise it looks fine. So what are we going to change? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at uh, specific things that I would say these need either adjusting or we need to do something with vocabulary to increase the level of vocabulary. But let's go through it paragraph by paragraph and see what we can do. So sh this essay starts with not only are the young in a constant search, but I'm going to change this into something like this. Young people are in a constant search for educational development. Okay. But also in an STEM attempt, which is, makes sense because we had the not only, but I'm going to take out the but also. In an attempt to establish themselves in their profession. And that means that they want to start a good career, which I think is a very nice um, phrase or, or um, collocation to use here. It is the city that provides them with the opportunity they look for. Now, what we could do is we could make this into a very long sentence. That is, of course, good for our language level. So I'm going to change this into and we need to add a comma and living in the city provides them with the opportunities. I'm going to turn it into opportunities they look for. Now we have something interesting happening here and that we have and that is that we have a sentence that ends with a preposition. And there are people who say, well, you shouldn't end your sentences with prepositions. Now, officially, there's nothing, you know, there's no grammar rule saying that we can't end our sentences with prepositions. But, you know, to avoid having issues on the Cambridge exam, I'm going to rewrite this part. So I'm going to change look for into seek. And I'm going to change um, seek present simple into are seeking present continuous. Because I think that, um, you know, it's, a, it's something that happens constantly. And I think present continuous would fit better here as well. Then we get the part about education. Now, this is already a very well structured paragraph. There's not much I need to change regarding structure. It talks about education, it talks about the benefits of, ha of, of following an education program in a city. And I think that's already very good, so there's not much I need to change regarding structure. There are some language things we're going to look at. Um, what I definitely like is this word opts, which definitely is C1 level. Excellent. And the same goes for the word report, establishing a good report, which also is um, an excellent construction, um, something that doesn't appear very often, so that's very good as well. I'm going to start by changing this topic sentence a bit, and I'm going to say that um, I'm going to change it into concerning education. The young generation opts to learn in big cities. Um, and I'm going to omit this comma because we don't need a comma here. Since most high-ranked universities are located in cities, which is which is fine. I'm just going to add big cities to really make a distinction between smaller and bigger cities. 
Then we get having a wide range of subjects to choose from. Now, this sentence is a bit difficult to understand, and that is because of make, but also the way it is structured. Because when I read this for the first time, I thought that we have subject to choose from, then something with faculties and research facilities. But what she wants to indicate, I think, is that we have lots of a wide range of subjects to choose from, faculties to choose from, and research facilities to choose from. And because we have these things to choose from, I think we need to change the structure a bit. So I'm going to change this into having a wide range of subjects, faculties, and research facilities to choose from. And then we need to have a subject verb agreement um, thing here because we have several things, but it's one thing. So um, we have a wide range of subject um, faculties and research facilities to choose from. And this makes these universities attractive among youngsters. Now, attractive, um, something is attractive to someone, so it must become these universities attractive to youngsters, which I think is absolutely true. The more things you have to offer, the more attractive something is to young people. Now, what we also could change is the word youngsters. Youngsters are usually people between 8 and 14, 15 years old. So this is not, of course, the um, group of people that go to universities. So I'm going to change this into adolescents. And I think that fits better. Moreover, very nice, very good linking word, moreover. So that's well done as well. I'll make this green. Moreover, there is more chance of networking while studying in cities. Um, there is more chance of networking, which is fine, of course. I'm going to change it slightly into this. I'm going to say that there are more chances or more opportunities, more networking opportunities while studying in cities. Establishing um, a good report with students, professors, potential employers in different fields or institutions might have a profound influence on their career. Profound is also C1 level, so that's also a very nice word choice. We can change it slightly. Um, we have a simple sentence here. There are more networking opportunities. And what we want to do is we want to avoid simple sentences. So I'm going to connect these two sentences together, this sentence and the um, following sentence, and establishing a good report with students, professors, and we need to add and here, potential employers in different fields of in or institutions, which is fine, might have a profound influence on their career. And we can change a profound influence into something like might profoundly influence their careers. Which I think is nice. It's a, it's a nice construction and it saves a few words as well. Then we move on to our third paragraph that talks about jobs and what a big city can do regarding jobs. So we have um, a nice topic sentence. Big cities are considered to be uh, one of the best locations to find a job. Now we can remove to be and we can say um, that big cities are considered um, one of the best locations. Now we talk about cities, then it's a bit weird to have one of. So I'm going to make it into big cities are considered the best locations to find a job. Um, I'm going to connect this linking word to the um, sentence that follows, to the following sentence, because it directly explains why big cities are considered this. So I can make this into since most businesses and commercial establishments are in cities. Then we get something with therefore. Um, therefore, there are a variety of jobs on offer and high demand on recruitment, which makes it easier for young people to find a job, which makes sense. Um, nice use of recruitment, establishments, Excellent. I'm going to split these two sentences because um, 
where I connected two sentences that directly influenced each other, this sentence is more a result uh, of something and therefore indicates this as well. And I think splitting these sentences would make more sense. Now, therefore is already a very good choice. It's a nice linking word, it fits moreover, but we want to show that we can use C1 level English. So I'm going to change therefore into accordingly. Because accordingly is C1 level, and it's a different way of saying um, as a result or um, as such, and it's one that we don't hear that often, and I think it's very nice. Then we get there are a variety of jobs on offer, which is nice, and I'm going to change this as well, again for the same reason. I want to show that we can use C1 level, um, C1 vocabulary, and there is a nice word that means the same as a variety of, and I think that really fits here as well. So I'm going to change this into there are assorted jobs on offer. Now assorted means that you have a variety of something, but also different types of jobs, and I think that fits here as well. So there are assorted jobs on offer and a high demand on recruitment. That's something we need to change as well because demand on is not correct, it's the incorrect collocation, uh, the incorrect um, um, preposition here is used, so we need to make this into high demand for recruitment, and I need to add a comma here as well. And um, what else can I change? I'm also going to add the, the high demand for recruitment, which means that we now have a subject and I can take away this, which, then I need to add, of course, um, an extra S because subject verb agreement and the high demand for recruitment makes it easier for young people to find a job. Then we get an example, excellent, level three sentence, example. Take New York as an example. A recent study, which was published in The Guardian, reveals that, the New, that New York is the most popular city among young job seekers. Very nice. I like this writing style. It's, uh, it's very good. So if this is your essay, good work. Um, I'm going to restructure it slightly um, because I want to take out take New York as an example. Um, so I'm going to remove this. Um, so I have a recent study and I can take out which was as well, which means that we're changing the structure a bit. Um, we're taking out this um, clause or kind of re rearranging this clause. And I'm going to say published in the Guardian. And then we need to remove the comma there as well. Reveals that New York is the most popular city amongst job seekers. But I do want to indicate that New York is an example. So I'm going to add that um, New York, comma, for example, is the most popular city amongst, amongst young job seekers. Now, what I want to add here is a reason why New York is so popular amongst young job seekers. And if you have a look at our word count, you can see that we have slight, we're below the number of words that we need to have. So we can do this. So I'm going to say, due to the large number of companies located in the area. And now I think we have um, something that also fits our topic sentence, right? We have most businesses and commercial establishments are in cities. Um, we have a, a reason what this means. This means that there is um, um, there are many jobs these young people can choose from. And we have some, some evidence from The Guardian um, that explains that New York is the most popular city amongst young job seekers um, because of the large number of companies located in the area. I think that's fine, it's excellent. Then we move on to our final paragraph, um, which is our conclusion. And this person is also giving her opinion in this part. There are only two changes I would actually make. And one of them is our capable of giving, which I'm going to turn into offer, um, which means that I can also remove you because we don't want to use you in formal writing. We don't want to use um, second or third person um, um, pronouns when we are writing formally. Um, and I need to add a comma here as well because we have a new clause. And graduates are more likely to start employment, which is fine, but I think if we say that they are more likely to find employment using the university network, I think that's 
better. Now you could say maybe we want to say the university's network. Um, that's fine as well, of course. I think both are correct. If you use universities network, then you know it's more specific. If you say university network, you can also be using the university's internet connection, which is definitely not what you want to say. And honestly, that's basically it. Those are the minor few changes I would make to this essay. This was already a perfect or near perfect C1 advanced essay. What is very good about this essay is that this person has a good introduction, a good conclusion, and she's able to write her opinion and, and give arguments which are direct, concise, and very clear. I know what she's saying, and she doesn't use a lot of unnecessary words to do this. So I think this is an excellent example of a C1 advanced essay. Let me know in the comments, do you think this is an example of a perfect C1 essay? What other changes would you make to this essay? If you found this video useful, consider giving it a thumbs up. Also let me know in the comments if you would like me to correct your essay, then I can give you some feedback about your writing. If you want to know more about my other video, consider subscribing. For now, thank you for watching and I hope to see you in one of my next videos. I moved away from the city because I wanted some rest and I don't like the busy city life when I get home from work.